Uh, we have a guest with us today, all the way from China. Uh, his name is Brother Ras Bihari, or uh, Rasa for short. First of all, a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash zero point institute. I started doing some research as to who is making claims to actually having machines. And I was going around to visit people in the States and in Europe as well. So I was meeting several people and, and confirming several of these claims. However, my main question for these inventors that I met was, how is, <laughs> when is this device going to make it onto the market? Exactly. Yeah. My, my opinion was that if their machine isn't already on the market, it means there must be something wrong with their approach. Yeah. You know, the machines are working, but their, their method, their ideas about how to implement it, I feel were a little bit faulty. You know, now I'm working with some inventors and they're doing an open source, which means you can go and you can get the blueprints how to do it yourself they're not like trying to keep secrets so right now I'm just working with many different inventors and different potential sources of funding technology is available to the public the question is who's going to be able to produce it in the cheapest and most efficient way the inventors who I'm working with now they are open to the idea of what we call open source, making the plans, you know, what we call do-it-yourself plans, <laughs> build it at home yourself. We have to make this available to the people. However, you know, sometimes it's not so easy to build at home and people aren't technically minded. So then our job here is also to, to just be able to sell them a product. You know, we're, we're working on of course, the generator for your home, and also kits. That's what I feel to be most important, is the kit so that you can convert your your vehicle, what you're driving now. Hmm. And have you uh, have you guys done this on, on vehicles uh, yet, or, or have you tried it out? Does it, does it work, and so forth? One of my inventor friends a few days ago said he has gotten his machine inside of a vehicle. You know, he's he's we're still at a very infant stage as far as you know having we still have to sort through all the different technologies which are available, find the best one and then start applying it. So there's a, several of these over unity devices. You know, you have the water devices and the magnet devices and many other kinds of devices. For example, one of the ones I'm working with now, we have a motor connected to a generator. If you can tune it correctly, the generator will produce just enough electricity to keep the motor running. So that's what we would call unity or a 100% efficient machine. So we need something to push it over the edge so it's producing more than 100 percent and there's various means of doing that what we have right now is a is what we call battery charger so it can charge the batteries and then you can use those batteries basically like a solar panel and in the future we want to be able to get rid of the batteries altogether first of all this is nothing new. This technology is nothing new. One of the groups I'm working with, they have many projects which are considered top secret. But there is there is an interesting point that I'd like to mention is the fact that 
in the last G20 meeting, China came out and said, we don't want the US dollar to be the global currency anymore. And when I heard this news, I said, wow, how did the China get the audacity to say such a thing? Mm -hmm. And later on, I found out why. Because the China realizes that they are, they are controlling more than 80% of the manufacture of all the super magnets on this planet. And they know that magnets are going to replace oil. Now, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm pretty sure that 2010 will be the year that, that somebody's going to put these things out on the market. Say if there's a somebody who's been trying to keep a lid on it, they can only keep that lid on for a certain amount of time. And eventually it's going to spring out. Yes. The home generator. And that will definitely be available this year, 2010. Surely. But, you know, something like a... Actually, one thing that's interesting is the scaling down is, always, is much more difficult than scaling up. <laughs> Funny as it sounds, it's easier to build a generator to provide electricity for a whole city than it is to build a generator which will which will work on a little, small electric bicycle. What I'm saying is that if you have a device that's a certain size, you can just add them up, you know, build two of them, three of them, four of them, and you can produce as much power as you want. But scaling it down, making it something that will fit in a small size, like, like a, we have these little electric bicycles here in China, and just has this little battery pack on it. So our goal, my goal, is to try to reach some uh, generator that's the size of this battery pack and also fairly cheap. Mm. And we're working with several manufacturers here in China and Taiwan on this goal. And obviously, to, to make a, an electric car cheap is means you have to get rid of these expensive lithium batteries. Yes. And to get rid of the lithium batteries, we have to put a, a, one of these over-unity generators in there to produce the electricity needed to drive the car. So that's where we're at right now, is, is um, trying to in install one of these devices into an electric car. So that's basically where we're working at now. We're bringing in, we've got the funding, we're bringing in the technology, we're bringing in several different inventors and different technologies, and we're going to be experimenting and finding out which is the best for which application. Yeah. One type of generator may be good for a house, another type of generator may be good for a car. This over Unity devices open up the potential for so many things. Thank you for listening. My thanks to everyone at Red Eyes. Click in our member section for much more. And we will talk more soon. Bye-bye. So here is the sensor. It's sensing the magnet when the magnet is and then here is the battery. Not connected now. The battery comes up to the pulsing, the pulsing unit. And then it comes up into this box. And then here's the meter measuring the input. And then that will drive the coil. And we'll make the wheel spin. And then, then the current will be picked up and come through this. The alternating current will be rectified by this. Come back in here. And then here's your output. Output. 